hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, Zahara says that there are many millionaires and billionaires who want her. The low leeway hit maker Zahara has scored a new reality show which is set to make its debut on the SABC. Now film Pella shared a clip from the show that was played at the SABC's video entertainment showcase in Johannesburg. Now in the clips fans got a sneak peek at what they can expect from the reality show on February the 4th. Now one episode features Zahara getting emotional as she talks about her financial struggles that nearly led to the foreclosure of her house. <laughs> Now Zahara in the clip says I have done nothing wrong to anyone here in Gauteng but people think they have a right to torture me for what who did I wrong now Zahara also continues and says that the reason why I spoke about my financial issues and that my house would be repossessed is because I didn't want to involve other people I am beautiful but I did not want to open my legs for men there are many millionaires and billionaires that want me <laughs> ah yes, don't open them legs, Sahara. Let them billionaires and millionaires starve. Watch from afar. But yeah, I will say this is definitely good news to hear that the actual reality show, Zahara's reality show, is going ahead because recently Zahara was being accused of having diva tendencies at the set of her reality show and according to the reports, the channel gave her an ultimatum along the lines that they would pull the plug on the show if she didn't behave. So yeah, according to those reports, the SAPC threatened to ask the show if Zahara continued to be a problem child. There was a snitch who said the following, she did behave herself for the time being, she's been filming properly and is expected to wrap up everything this week. The show depends on her cleaning her act up and it's sad that she doesn't seem to understand her own brand and acts out of character. It isn't good for her image. So yeah, it does seem that Zahara did manage to behave herself and the reality show is a go i mean do get in the comment section down below and let me know if you are excited about this reality show it feels like there's a reality show on every single channel every other three hours there's a reality show so why not but yeah, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Mpoma Boy finally confirms divorce from Rinilwe Litsulunyane. So Mpoma Boy has finally responded to speculations about her marriage to soccer legend Rinilwe Litsulunyane. Now this comes after rumors circulated on social media when Mpoma Boy reverted to using her maiden name on her social media accounts and Twitter users alleged that they were no longer together. 
But yeah, taking to Twitter yesterday, the media personality defended herself against Twitter users and in a way seemingly confirmed the reports of the divorce. So yeah, she wrote the following, oh, and trying to shame me for being divorced doesn't work on me. Try another insult. I've heard it all at this point with a heart emoji. So yeah, for those that needed confirmation that indeed she is divorced, there you have it. But yeah, taking you guys down memory lane, in 2017, Mpo got married to her partner in a secret ceremony and confirmed the news during an interview with DJ Fresh. Now she said at the time, yeah, he is now my husband, we got married, it's done. For me, it feels like it's not the end point for everyone, not everybody wants to get married, the whole marriage thing, can we not shove it down people's throats? Well, with the benefit of hindsight, it does seem it wasn't really the end point for her. Now earlier this year, Mpo actually spoke about them having a white wedding. She went on to say, we will not be having a white wedding. I do not get the idea of a white wedding. If we have done the traditional stuff and all, I don't see the need for a white wedding. And around June of this year, reports started making the rounds that Mpo and Renile Litsulunyane are getting divorced. And I suppose fast forwarding to yesterday, we have a tweet somewhat confirming that. But like she clearly says in her tweet, saying that she is divorced is not an insult. And I'm sure all the lovely people watching Red Life do understand that there is no shame in divorce. Sometimes things don't work out. Our next topic, Prince KB on disappointing mom over viral nude picture. Prince KB's memory of his own experience was triggered on Wednesday after an explicit video of the Speaker of the Legislature in the Free State, Zanele Sifuba, was leaked on social media. Now, music producer and DJ Prince KB seems to have relived the moment when he was the talk of the town after a photo showing his genitals was maliciously splashed all over social media. So yeah, we did talk about Zanele Sifuba's video that was leaked or according to the reports or the rumors anyways is that it was leaked up because she was being blackmailed apparently the guy wanted 300,000 rands or he would leak the video now we can conclude that he didn't get 300,000 rands so he leaked the video I'm sure they are 50 60 70 year olds who thought yesterday was a glorious day to have data and yeah all power to them but getting back to Prince KB, he actually shared on social media what he went through when his picture made it onto social media. So Prince KB posted the following, When I look at the Zanele Sifuba unfortunate incident, I remember being on the phone with my mother for over an hour after my dick was doing rounds. <laughs> are we supposed to uh you know excuse the pun over there but anyways moving swiftly along it goes on to read had never heard her so disappointed she cried throughout the call and i haven't been able to forgive myself look i'm sure for many ladies as well as some guys it was a glorious day when prince kb's dick pic was leaked on social media but moving right along prince kb went on to write in all the trauma mama zanele is going to endure right now her shame guilt and disgust for herself will first be inspired by kids close relatives and other members of her family because i'm certain those are the people she's gonna have a tough time facing strength to her and her family this too she'll pass look personally when i read this i was like you know what at the end of the day prince kb is one of those people who can actually talk from experience and what he's saying there i personally can't argue with and obviously i don't really have that experience of having my uh, nude or dick pic or sex tape being leaked on social media so at the end of the day i cannot really sympathize to that level but yeah i do get what prince kb is saying over there I can only imagine the trauma that my mom would go through if that happened to me. But then again, I then think about it like, what would my mom be doing on Twitter? Eh? But focusing and getting back on the topic, what DJ Hazel Mahaza did to Prince KB. Ne? <laughs> I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys thought about what Prince KB wrote there on social media. But I will say this, you know, when it comes to Prince KB, I saw Prince KB trending as well as Malusi Kikaba. People are kind of comparing that, hey, Malusi Kikaba got cancelled as well as Abu Katleho Mabue got cancelled. But people are out here standing up for Umama Zanele Sifuba. But I will say this, it's not really the same thing. Them two, it was cheating allegations involved in all of that. Umama Zanele Sifuba, from what we gather, she was with a guy who she probably thought, you know what, this is my partner. We're having some, uh, you know, freaky time 
time together only for the partner to backstab her and then blackmail her and then eventually put the video up on social media so i feel like it's very different circumstances than two people who were cheating and then got exposed from it as well as umethi booth who's been doing the rounds right now it's very different situations people Obviously, it's unfortunate for all of the people, but it's different situations. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.